Supporters of National Unity Platform Party have today showed up in numbers to view a movie, Bobby Wine, the People's President, a documentary about the life of Robert Chagulani. Before the showing, Chagulani said the movie was cut short from 4,000 hours to two hours of premium content. As the directors, why did you not include all that violence? Because the initial intention was to show the world the extent of violence that General Museveni has caused to the people of Uganda. They explained to me and said that they couldn't show too much violence. Otherwise, it would turn off the people from watching the film. Chagon says this documentary has been nominated for an Oscar award. Now, I'm sure some of you may not understand what it means to go to the Oscars, but these are the biggest film awards on planet Earth. The leader of opposition in parliament, Joel Senyan, says the atrocities showcased in this documentary are still ongoing. We have so many young people that are in jail. The Olivia Lutayas, Majete, Rashid Seguja, Sanya, and several others. Simply because they are opposed to the current establishment. Three to four years, their cases have not kicked off. Apparently, they're still gathering evidence. For four years, what evidence is that? There's people that were killed, Yasin, Kauma, Frank, Sentes, and several others that died along the way. To date, justice has not been served. <laughs> Later, Robert Chagwan screened the movie to NUP supporters for the first time months after it was first aired overseas. The documentary showcases some of the challenges faced by the NUP in various parts of the country. Mr. Museveni and his colleagues are celebrating what they say they came to change has not happened if anything things have gotten worse that's what this documentary shows and it's important that it gets to be out there for the world especially to know who this person is because when he goes there he sanitizes himself makes it seem like all is well and so on NUP leaders had this to say about the movie seeing this documentary is a big nail in the coffin of this government because it has exposed all the wrongdoings, the violence, the human rights abuse happening in Uganda. And that has resulted for cutting of funds. All that long, because things are documented, these are facts. There's no way that uh, these are why we're fabricated, but these are real facts. They're facts. So Ugandans out there, some of them don't know exactly what happened. But when they have a chance of watching this documentary, at least they're going to realize what Bobby Wine or President Chagrin Center is fighting for. Party Secretary General David Lewis Rubongoya also dismissed claims by two individuals, Bashiru Muto and Moses Simbwa, that they were recruited by the opposition to abduct citizens and most drones belong to the NUP. The claims were made during the NRA liberation celebrations in Jinja. Mr. President, drone do bona editual avantu. Drone ye do dibama opposition. Also, how can someone claim that NUP runs drones when every day, you remember the other day, me, myself, and Honorable Sen were, were taken uh, by a drone in Kamocha. You were there as uh, the media. And every other day, you see drones abducting people with impunity. Uh, the people who are missing, uh, Damulila, were taken out by soldiers. Does NUP have, uh, you know, guns and, 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 and military uniforms and, and that kind of thing to say that so? Or even the larger opposition. So Raymond Tamale, NTV. Uganda. <laughs>